I'm the IELTS examiner Azhar Yashar taking the IELTS test of SIBA. Test is being held at Yashar Lingdish House on 17th February 2024 uh, at mm -hmm. half past one o'clock. What's your full name? Sir, so my full name is Siba Aswad and I'm from Kashmir. Uh, okay. Can I see your ID document please? Yeah, sure sir. Here, here is it. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you tell me about your hometown? Sure, sir. Why not? Uh, sir, basically, I'm from Kashmir. Hmm. I'm living in a city called Ba. Hmm. It's, uh, it is it is famous for mountain, hills, and uh, basically, um, Kashmir is famous for his traditions, his culture, and... Uh, <coughs> okay, what are the advantages to live in your hometown? The advantages to live in my hometown is that... Uh, the people who are living in Kashmir are very traditional mm. and I think uh, their culture is the main thing mm. and uh, one of the most important thing that the people have major uh, advantage is that um, they have their family relatives mm. and uh, <clears throat> and beside this uh, okay let's talk about your education all right recently I have just completed my FSC mm. uh, intermediate and now I'm preparing for arts exam mm -hmm. and that's why I'm here okay what was the most challenging subject during your FSC the most challenging subject uh, for me is mathematics because I think, uh, not I think, but uh, to be honest, I'm really weak in maths. So that's why um, maths, I face difficulty during practicing maths uh, and it, and the main thing uh, for practicing maths is uh, that it can take um, more time mm -hmm. for practicing. So I think mm. uh, I don't... Okay, what was your favorite subject? My favorite subject... Um, uh, to be honest, literally, my favorite subject is Urdu, hmm. just because uh, it, it has a lot of poetry and hmm. uh, it, it's hmm. a very deep subject, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm really. Do you like to read poetry or novels and dramas? Yeah, I like to read novels in my free time. When who is I... your favorite novelist? <clears throat> Nimra Ahmed is my favorite novelist. Uh, when... Not Omar Ahmed. Uh, no, because uh, I don't read different novels of Umair Ahmed, but I read novels of Nimr Ahmed. That's mm. why I, I, mm. love, I love the poet. Mm. Poetess. Okay. Mm. Any novel do you remember? Yeah. Last time I just um, read a novel. It's La Hasil. It, uh, mm. it was based on that. what was the relationship between you and your God and mm -hmm. what's the belief that... <clears throat> That you put on uh, uh, put on your uh, yourself. Okay, that you put on your God. Okay, let's move that's on. It. Let's move on and talk All about right. the internet. Do you use internet during the day? During during the day, like uh, on daily basis, you use. Yeah, internet? I use daily basis uh, internet. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I just use internet um, by on using different apps like I use WhatsApp hmm. and mm -hmm. and to send text to someone or some some voice okay, notes. What can be the advantages and disadvantages of using internet? The main advantages and there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages while using internet. Like uh, it dep it depends upon the situation. Like when you use uh, internet. For your work, hmm. so it, it has a lot of uh, <clears throat> positive impacts and advantages. Like a lot hmm. of people can do their work by using internet. Um, hmm. They they won't go to uh, specific places. Okay, let's talk about hobbies. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, yeah, I have uh, some hobbies. Like I just used to read books and hmm. novels, and I think and that's the that is my hobby. Do you watch movies as well? Uh, no, I don't watch movies as hmm. well. But uh, when <clears throat> when I was in class 10th and 11th mm. then I used to watch movies but now I what do you prefer reading books or watching a movie I, I prefer reading books like mm. reading novels because mm. you can a lot of information from books mm. that's it okay fine this is the end of your speaking part one let's move to the speaking part two and uh, speaking part two is the cue card right okay. and in the cue card you have to talk about for two minutes and you will be getting one minute for the preparation and your cue card is describe a skill you have learned that you think it is very useful okay all right can you speak on this topic yes sir okay describe a skill you have learned that you think is very useful you should say what it is where and when you learn it and uh, how you use it and explain why do you think this skill is useful and for this you have if you want to make some notes you can you have one minute for preparation then for two minutes you will be speaking or shall we, sir shall we start yes you can <clears throat> first um i'm telling about the skill that i have learned uh, that is very useful for me is 
recently i have uh, completed my graphic designing course uh, nowadays it's a very latest skill and uh, it's a uh, graphic designing is like um, you make different um, Uh, different menus and different pictures different banners like it's it's it the, and this all these all things are uh, in are involved in graphic designing and uh, the main thing that uh, where i <clears throat> the main thing is that where i just learned this skill from the uh, from which academy i just learned this skill so i learned this skill from the uh, online platform the on, the academy name is algebra online academy and uh, i just learned this skill from from that academy and the skill is very useful very useful and helpful for me because i make different things uh, by using this skill like uh, the, i make different uh, uh, to i, I just uh, make my portfolio and i uh, make portfolio and there are a lot of uh, things that i made by using this skill so it help it helps me to uh, enhance my skills and enhance my ability so i think it's a um, okay I, this is the end of your speaking part 2 let's move to the speaking part 3 i'll be asking you some questions they are followed by the speaking part 2 mm-hmm. like about the skills why do you think like in this era we should more focus on skills we should more focus on skill i think uh, in this era we we should focus on the skills just mm. because um, everything is uh, digitally advanced and uh, you should also carry your studies uh, with skills uh, not uh, learning from books uh, and and you can get a job it's it's not um, mandatory but uh, skill is necessary just because uh, a lot of uh, st- if we talk about india then uh, a, a small little children's just um, little children's can earn earn money from from uh, earn money uh, from online platforms they just have skill and they can work from their home mm-hmm. and uh, they earn a lot of money and i think uh, it uh, skill is necessary not for a job okay in this era of technology apart from graphic designing is there any other thing we should learn yeah of course uh, the main skills are python mm. and uh, you can also learn web development mm. and besides this um, if you are interested then you must have uh, then you must uh, have to do a uh, basic it course mm. or uh, computer science courses mm. Mm. except do you think that uh, everyone should work on their typing speed yeah i think so that everyone should uh, work on typing speed but it's not uh, necessary just because uh, you can uh, type with your mobile phones and then uh, you can copy and then paste on whatever wherever you want it mm-hmm. and so i think uh, as <clears throat> uh in the main thing sorry and as well as the uh, technology is advanced so i don't mm. think so that you have to waste time on typing it but it's a good thing if you if you are interested and you want mm. to do it, so mm-hmm. i think that's a good thing okay if you go for only uh, four to five skills in Five. 2030 so apart from graphic designing what other we should learn mm. uh i i want to learn the skill uh, python mm. recently i told you mm. and web development mm. i'm searching for the best academy and best teacher uh, who 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 just teach me these skills like mm. python graphic designing mm. and uh, as well as um, basic it course mm-hmm. and that's okay this it. is the end of your part 3 thank you so much uh, you are good at speaking and you can easily get 6.5 in your speaking okay but you need to work hard you need to work on your ideas you need to work on your um, like fluency as well yes, right sir. grammatically there are some minor errors but it's okay so you can easily get 6.5 in your speaking you just need to keep on and work hard okay yes sir see